When America's best-selling vehicle undergoes a revolutionary overhaul, it's kind of a big deal. Ford seized this opportunity and skillfully cultivated the most hyped-up truck launch in history. So, has the latest F-150 lived up to its lofty expectations? Yes, yes it has, and here's why. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room, aluminum. Although high-end passenger cars have been utilizing the material for decades, the latest F-150 represents the first production pickup to feature a body made entirely of aluminum. Depending on the configuration, this newly svelte architecture, combined with a lighter, high-strength steel frame, yields a near 700-pound weight savings over the outgoing truck. While an all-aluminum body is certainly deserving of the spotlight, that doesn't mean that huge improvements in NVH and ride and handling should go unnoticed. Cabin noise levels at highway speeds are practically on par with those of the impressively quiet GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado, while ride quality is second only to the Ram 1500. Despite claiming top honors in this season's automotive rendition of The Biggest Loser, the F-150 doesn't feel as quick on its feet as the Ram 1500 or GM clones. Much of the stereotypical truck behavior is owed to a relaxed steering ratio and comparatively wide turning circle. Then again, the F-150 has the field covered in terms of brake feel and overall pucker power. And until someone forms a Kickstarter campaign for a portable escalator, you won't find an easier way to manage your gear. Gaining access to the cargo bed now requires significantly less effort thanks to a retractable sidestep and, and an integrated tailgate step. Handy. For smaller items, the cabin contains more storage compartments than you can shake a stick at. Front seat comfort is outstanding as well, an assessment corroborated by fellow KBB editor Allison Harwood during a 1,300-mile road trip from San Antonio, Texas to her home base in Irvine, California. Hard plastics still cover most of the dash and upper door panels, but feature more premium textures and finishes than before. Plus, as most truck owners will tell you, Hard materials are far easier to clean than soft ones. In any case, critical touch points like the outboard armrest and center console cover are both densely padded and proportionally arranged. At just over 33 inches, rear legroom in Super Cab models is a bit cramped, while Super Crew trims go overboard with a limo like 43.6 inches. For perspective, that's more rear legroom than a BMW 750i. And so long as we're on the topic of cab variants, Regular and super cab models can be paired with a traditional 6.5 foot cargo box or optional 8 foot long bed. Super crew versions offer bed lengths of 5.5 feet and 6.5 feet. Significant updates were also made to the F-150's powertrain lineup, wherein a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 and normally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 join the carryover 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 and 5 liter V8 for a total of 4 engine choices. Every engine is matched to a six-speed automatic transmission featuring a tow haul mode. Though fuel economy figures are up across the board, MPG bragging rights belong exclusively to the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. Not only does it boast EPA ratings of up to 19 MPG in the city and 26 MPG on the highway, our test unit returned 26.3 MPG on the highway at an average speed of 66 miles an hour. Further aiding fuel economy is a stop-start function that shuts off the engine when the truck is stopped to conserve fuel. At rest, however, the air conditioning system gradually grinds to a halt, meaning those in warmer climates will likely find it necessary to deactivate the stop-start system every time they jump behind the wheel. Even so, the smallest displacement engine on offer is without a doubt the most well-rounded of the bunch. Commanding a scant $795 premium over the standard V6, Ford's newest EcoBooster undercuts its bigger brother by $1,200. What's more, 
We were convinced our 2.7 liter tester housed the larger EcoBoost mill until we pulled over and popped the hood. It's that good. The moral of the story is that unless your towing requirements exceed its 8,400 pound threshold, opt for the 2.7. With that settled, it's high time we focus on creature comforts and infotainment. Over the years, you may have heard my Ford Touch being referred to as slow, distracting, cluttered, unresponsive. I don't know where I was going with this, but what I can tell you is that the latest iteration is slightly better and that it actually responds to my inputs most of the time. Middling connectivity aside, the F-150 brings to the table a number of segment-first features and safety innovations. Exclusives consist of LED headlights and side-view mirror spotlights, a 360-degree camera system, integrated loading ramps, a 400-watt power outlet, and our personal favorite, a remote tailgate release. Safety tech includes adaptive cruise control, rear seat inflatable seat belts, blind spot monitoring, and lane keeping assist. Not surprisingly, you'll need to dish out upwards of $50,000 to drive home with most of these goodies. On the front end of the pricing spectrum, a base F-150 begins right around $26,500. Expect to tack on an additional $3,000 or so when stepping up to a larger cab size. Volume-leading XLT Super Cabs include such standard equipment as fog lights, a power tailgate lock, a 40-20-40 front bench seat, 17-inch alloys, and a six-speaker audio system with Bluetooth and a USB port. Upgrading to the mid-tier Lariat trim lands you LED box lighting, heated and cooled front seats, leather upholstery, and an 8-inch touchscreen. While King Ranch models add LED headlights and taillights, a 10-speaker sound system by Sony, navigation, and heated rear seats. Other notable add-ons include a seamless sliding rear window, an electronic parking brake, front bucket seats, a factory spray-in bed liner, and, unlike the Tundra Titan and GM twins, passive entry with push-button start. Whether you're in need of a rugged workhorse, a family hauler, or a weekend transporter, the modern full-size pickup now serves as the one-size-fits-all vehicle for many Americans. The 13th generation F-150 is not only a jack of all trades, but a master of most. To sum it up in three words, believe the hype. 